Hey folks, this is Ben Gessel. How's it going? Um, okay, so in this video, I might do again a few tonight. Um, uh, okay, this, this one is not as be as deep as some of the other things I have in my mind that just super as of late. But um, I am planning on doing something in the performing for you guys kind of improvisation thing sometime probably toward the end of this week after the 4th of July at least at some point that's the plan so be looking for that video okay so uh it's musical improvisation so okay um just kind of for this video talking a bit more about um some additional ongoing, you know, ongoing, ongoing, but additional thoughts about, um, different grocery stores and things, which I talk about, I know, a fair amount, but, um, there, there's some things that I still have to mention, I think, that would be very useful and very interesting, I think. So, um, yeah, most of this year, I've gone to PCC Natural Markets, as you guys know. I've been Shopping there pretty often for a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. And just this very last shopping trip, I went to Trader Joe's, which is a fine store. And, you know, I've been to QFC for, you know, little things, I suppose. Um, well, you know, here and there. Sometimes I've done a combination QFC, PCC Natural Markets thing. But other than... I mean, it's been pretty rare that, I, I mean, like, once I think I went to Albertsons and uh, that sort of thing. Or Safeway, one of the two. Yeah, it's been a while. But mostly PCC this year. Again, Trader Joe's a little bit, a little bit in some QFC and a little bit of Albertsons and Safeway. A little bit. Maybe something else. I don't know. But. So, um... Yeah, so I, I know these stores really well, really, really well. QFC I know pretty well. And Albertsons and Safeway I kind of grew up with, you know, it's no, but they've kind of changed a bit, and they're still, they're basically owned now, it's the same company now, Albertsons Safeway kind of, and oh yeah, there's Fred Meyer, but I just go to Fred Meyer for like non-food items pretty much so um and Fred Meyer and QFC are they connected somehow or is it anyway yeah anyway and you have the Kroger stores I can't ever I know so but but um but getting to back to Trader Joe's and PCC that here and just you know so basically and I know how they connect with Whole Foods as well. So the thing is, is that uh, at Trader Joe's, you know, I bought um, some chicken and chicken sausage, the apple chicken sausage, which I like. I like the sweet apple. It needs to be the apple. For me, it needs to be the apple, not the vegetable stuff. That's mm. Trader uh, As a general rule, if you go to Trader Joe's, try not to buy very much of their pre-made funky flavor mixes of things sometimes they get it right sometimes they don't and when they get it wrong it's it's a colossal colossally bad i i, I know the crazy thing is there's people that still some people that still like that stuff I'm like, huh. but some of their things are really honestly very 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 good um and I, without getting into too much ado because maybe i talked about this it's been a while since i talked about trader joe's but i also promised some of you guys i'd try to slow down but talking so so that's what I'll try to do um but let's just go through again all their stuff you know just Trader Joe's um and my recent shopping trip there so basically the customer service is we all know it's amazing um the one I went to wasn't quite as crowded well it wasn't too bad it wasn't as bad as it used to be um I went to the one in over in Shoreline, um, but uh, Washington. But but 
the produce, the cherries were good. Very, very good. Uh, of course, cherries are in season right now, but they tasted great. Rainiers and sweet cherries. Bananas, standard. Not bad. Oranges, not quite as good as PCC, of course. But not too bad, not too shabby. Um, I've got their bagged navel oranges. The cucumbers are always great. I love their cucumbers. Uh, they have some great English cucumbers. High quality. Zucchinis are great. Vegetables mostly are really great at, at Trader Joe's. But vegetables, you know, many times aren't always all that... Well, it's always a question of freshness, I suppose. Sometimes you get... But, you know, you, it's your basics. And vegetables are pretty basic stuff in the most part. But fruit can be very hit and miss at Trader Joe's, it's true. I, I know I know that. But, you know, they had good cherries, and the blueberries looked really good, and the berries. Um, so they do get some stuff, you know, that's local in season, which is great. Um, <clears throat> then, of course, they're known for their cheaper prices in nuts and seeds. So I got some of that stuff. And, of course, uh, spices that were cheap. Um, and they got dirt cheap garlic powder, just just two bucks for a, a container of garlic powder. It's pretty good size, you know, standard size. It's and just that's you know awesome. Um, and then you know I got some. So I mentioned the meat a little bit. I, I've always here's what I think about Trader Joe's. They never. Oh man, I just yeah. Unless you get bacon or pork, maybe. The red meat at Trader Joe's, their, their corned beef is, is fine too. Corned beef is great. But so many times, Trader Joe's red meat is just nasty. And, and the beef is just, so it's downright, just, just, just terrible. I mean, I just, it's, it's, the, it's, this is the Achilles heel of Trader Joe's. It's their red meat. It, it is by far, the worst stuff that it's worse than their weird, funky, cheesy veggie frozen crud they have, or you know, that stuff can get pretty rank and weird. But the red meat is just unbelievably bad. I mean, if you get some good ones, great, but it's just oh man, I don't know what it is. I, I really don't know what it is, but it just is nasty. So, so I just. I got I got some I got some uh, spring lamb from New Zealand. It actually turned out pretty well. It wasn't too bad, but that stuff can be moisturized a bit. <laughs> it can be moistened. I'm gonna put some duck fat in the next one. I think and kind of make sure it doesn't dry out too much. When it's cooking, and you know it wasn't too dry, but it was like yeah, it just didn't have <sighs> the flavor. It's all about the flavor and. You know, fat adds the flavor. So at least it was nice and lean. You know, the the lamb was very healthy, had, you know, healthy diet. You just don't want to dry it out. And it's all a question how you make it, how you cook it. So, yeah, I'm going to do a duck fat thing on it next time. Pour some duck fat on that bad boy. But, but yeah, it's just, when compared to PCC Natural Markets, Trader Joe's has really poor... Really poor red meat. The chicken is not as great either, but that's it's a little more. It's not really all that different. It's it's a little better at PCC, but not by a heck of a lot. But the red meat, just no comparison. Absolutely no comparison. Much 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 better at at, at PCC Natural Markets and of course Whole Foods the same thing. Um, but PCC has you have ten percent off every month and you know. That sort of thing. Uh, so, and then as far as turkey, I mean, um, and stuff like that, you know, PCC is a clear winner. Trader Joe's has ground turkey. I didn't see any turkey thighs or other stuff like that at Trader Joe's. They don't really carry, usually just, well, they do have that stuff, but it's not organic. It's just regular, whatever. And then fish, as far as fish goes, PCC definitely is the upper hand as well, like Whole Foods. But, but, but in Trader Joe's favor, they actually do have some pretty decent fish. They have wild caught salmon, and they have some other stuff. It's you know, 
not bad either. Just question, you know, sometimes you can find it in their frozen section. It just, it just depends. But, and of course, I don't eat cheese, so I don't really look at that stuff. Trader Joe's also, you know, they have a lot of goodies and the snacky things. And that's one of their strong points. Um, I think if you like nuts are of course healthier, but and they have a lot of cheap sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds and all that stuff. But they also have all the peanut butter, chocolate, goody things and organic candies and stuff. So uh, yeah, not healthy, but hey, it's a, you know it's actually better than Starburst Skittles. So you know it doesn't have anything artificial kind of thing. So. Yeah, I, you know, you don't really see, I, I've never seen it, I don't really, there's some things I just never buy at Trader Joe's, or just never seen it at Trader Joe's, but I, you know, I imagine they still have grains and beans and stuff like that, I just don't buy them there, I just don't buy grains very much, period. Um, of course they had potatoes, onions, all that basic stuff, no problem, they have, Trader Joe's has, has a lot of canned stuff. A lot of canned or glass jars of olives and all the olive tapenades and, you know, um, canned artichoke hearts and stuff. And, uh, to, you know, eggplant, uh, what do you call it? Eggplant, pepperoni, pepper spread. It's just really good. And, and also they're all organic popcorn and chips and, you know, uh, snacky stuff. It's just really, you know, good stuff. And they have um, this maple, well, they have like this this um, honey, five things of honey kind of thing. And these dark, canned dark Merlot cherries. Yeah, canned dark Merlot cherries. And they're, they're really, really good. And they, for the longest time, again, I thought they were not selling those, but they actually are still. Maybe it's a question of, I don't know. <laughs> and a lot of people think of, you know, I don't know. I just eat, I eat fruit, like, I just eat it. I don't put it on stuff, but my mom likes to make stuff, you know. So, like, it's, you know, the, the Merlot cherries are kind of great for cherry, um, more something you put on a cake, I think. Not, not something, you don't want to, I don't know if you want to bake it, really, so much. It's sort of sour cherry thing, but, you know, it's just... Anyway, Morello, Morello cherries are kind of in the Morello cherries are kind of in the uh, German or European in general, Eastern Europe to Italy to Germany. Well, just they're 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 European pastries kind of cherries, but they're not they're not maraschino cherries. Those are candied Italian cherry things that are um, candied, candied like you know they process the heck out of them. Morello cherries, Morello cherries are actually real cherries, just in light syrup kind of thing. So, um, I think what I'm trying, some other stuff I'm trying to get to here. Um, so, yes, I, I noticed that the quality of all the food, or a lot of the food, was just not as high as it was at PC, of course. So, um, but it was a little cheaper, overall, a little cheaper. Um, and then how does well? So at QFC you can get those outshine popsicles and things, and QFC has a lot of great snacky stuff too. Just like Trader Joe's, just does it's more just a regular, regular grocery store type of thing. You can get all your your like toilet paper and your toothpaste and you know all that all that stuff. And if you have cereal and milk, you know, traditional Americans, I know. That's that's QFC and Albertsons and Safeway and stuff. Like QFC is a little bit nicer stuff, a little bit better stuff. But I, I also don't buy, I've realized I don't really buy meat at QFC. The only place I want to buy meat is either PCC Natural Markets or Whole Foods. So this is red meat in particular. Red meat and with poultry... I prefer PCC, but it's Trader Joe's is fine as well. And fish is also I still prefer PCC, but Trader Joe's is fine as well. So it's really red meat. Red meat and um, 
the quality overall quality of fruit in particular. Um, but the mushrooms are great at you know PCC as well. And there's other things that the PCC just has amazing, just amazing quality stuff. But Trader Joe's has some things that are really great. They really they really are. Um, particularly all the canned stuff and all the snacky stuff. And, and QFC has its certain things it does as, pretty well as well. But and I, I want to try to jump to something else here a little bit. And that's, um, again, just the changes that have happened in my body the last little while. I don't, I don't know. It seems like, you know, I have, you know, have, have made slow changes in my diet. But when you don't drink juice every day, or you go for an entire week without juice, fruit juice, I mean, I have done that, I've done that, oh yeah, an entire week, or longer, with, with just water, or, you know, and you, um, cut out bacon and pork from your diet, which I've done, for quite some time now, and you also, watch your sweets, of course, and you, eat more beans and you eat more vegetables and you eat more nuts and seeds and you're you know and you're you're eating your fruit as well right but you're not really consuming dairy very much or at all and not too much grains maybe just potatoes i've noticed that my health had this accumulative effect and if i just combine it with a little bit of other stuff like you know i mean just there's a cumulative effect um that has been really great for my health. I've noticed this. I have noticed this. Um, and it's worth it for anybody to do this. And the, the single best foods that you know you can eat that keep you satisfied, don't make you hungry, but they're, 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 again, they're not so expensive. They are fit foods like beans and nuts as you can afford them. But beans and nuts, a little bit of grains, a little bit, not not a whole lot, and, and also fruits and vegetables, of course. But it's great to know how much of these things you can eat without them going bad, right? And then when it comes to animal foods, I've noticed that for me, increasingly, increasingly, this is interesting. For me, it's um. It's kind of an egg, fish, poultry combination. And as I get older, I imagine it's going to get more into just egg and fish. And, and maybe I'll, you know. But, but those three things, it used to be that meat was a big deal. I didn't eat really all that much meat. I mean, yeah, a moderate amount, I suppose you could say. But as, it's just, it's maybe because I'm so picky about meat. Like once I've had, once you have whole foods, <laughs> whole foods, Buffalo ribeye, you know, or, or you know, PCC Natural Markets tri-tip steak, or, or you know, or, yeah, just this really high quality red meat. Once you've had that stuff, everything else in all of their stores and so many other kinds of cuts of meat, just is like, why, why? I mean, I'm turning my nose up at filet mignon at PCC Natural Markets because I just want to get their cheaper tri-tip steak. Because I'm starting to lose my taste for beef. I mean, I haven't had pork or bacon for like a long time. And I haven't had, I don't really eat hamburgers. Um, I just, I'm losing my taste for red meat. And uh, the lamb I had today, I thought it would be amazing. Eh, eh. Kind of lacking in flavor a little bit. It's just kind of, maybe just didn't have as much fat as I would have liked. But it's like, a, we, it's the weirdest thing in the world. To, to lose, you know, oh, maybe it, red meat is not really, you know, and I was, I've was i always been a, bit fan, a fan of red meat. I still like red meat, but since I'm getting, you know, I don't know, it's just the hardest thing to explain. And when you eat eggs and fish and poultry, but you kind of watch, you don't even eat a ton of it, but you know, like, like duck eggs even, you eat that stuff, it's... You're always eating wild caught salmon. I mean, that stuff is very satisfying, along with a little little bit of nuts, a little bit of nuts, with, with your fish or poultry or egg, and throw a little bit of produce. You're set. 
You know, you, I mean, baked potato is like almost overkill at that point. But um, yeah, I mean, like, like I just you don't need it. You don't need meat. You don't crave it. You're getting plenty of nutrients from your fish and your egg and, and the, all the other stuff you're eating. Plenty. I mean, if you were to just even eat, uh, again, uh, poultry, sorry, not, not, not poultry, um, potatoes, some, a sweet potato, some kind of sweet potato or potato with beans and uh, maybe an egg. Maybe an egg. So potato, beans, egg. A little bit of vegetables. I mean, yeah, broccoli, something. That's just like, you're good to go. Good to go. I mean, I don't know if you want to add onion or something. It's just, um, it's a lot of foods that are very cheap are really healthy. And we should, we should all be, you know, eating vegetables and beans and, uh, fruit. And, you know, other stuff that's plant foods as we can afford them, as well as fish and eggs. A little bit of poultry, maybe, you know? That's what we should all be eating that stuff, whatever we can handle. Um, anyway, getting back to the original train of thought here. Um, so these expensive stores, PCC and Whole Foods... It's worth it to get their good stuff, but it is expensive. So, I mean, like, it's just, you know, yeah. It's like the, the, the main truth of thought a lot of us have is, so if we were to spend less still, but, but you know, once you've had this high-quality animal food, once you've had the good stuff, it's like you don't want to go back to the other stuff because, you know, it's it almost is gag-inducing. I cannot, I mean, I can't eat, if I try to eat regular eggs, yeah, I want to gag. Right, well, maybe that's a little extreme. I can still eat regular eggs. But with some eggs, it's just, it's just like, oh my gosh, you know, oh my gosh. You know, if I try to eat, if I try to eat fried chicken from KFC, I probably, I'm like, this is just a grease ball. Like, oh yeah, I want to gag. I've been eating all this high quality animal stuff. And it's your body changes because you get all that crap out of your system. And your body's just like, yep, I just want this nice and lean stuff with a nice flavor. That's what I want. And so it's a little bit more expensive. But then, you know, after you get enough of the other stuff in, in your in your system and you your body also gets used to a higher amount of plant proteins that balance each other out somewhat, you know. The potato and the beans or something, right? Or a lot of people say rice or whatever. Then, you know, I mean, it's true. The plant foods are cheaper, and that's what you want to have, have most of your diet based on anyway. So it's kind of like at some point you might even start, I mean, I, I would wonder if I'll just get down to like eggs and salmon, and that's it. And salmon's a, a really pricey one. But I, I have like two fillets of salmon on average probably – I mean, like, I'll actually only, like, one filet of salmon a week on average. And then I'll have, like, probably six eggs. Uh, six eggs or so probably every week or two. It varies. But, yeah, it's in that ballpark. I'll have a dozen. So I'll have a dozen eggs a month or so. I really don't eat eggs all that often. It just varies. But yeah, you know, about a dozen a month, yeah. So I mix it up with other stuff. But but yeah, I might get down to the point where I'm eating very few animal foods. Because it's just, they have a lot of trace nutrients. And they have a lot of minerals and other stuff. Like the, the good stuff, you know, like really high quality seafood and eggs. But um, your body just runs, it's more efficient, I think, with plant foods. But you also do need certain animal foods, or your body benefits from that, especially your brain. Your brain needs some of that stuff in there. But I'm also trying Himalayan pink salt, um, just the salt on its own. And this, you know, it's it's a Trader Joe's type. 
I'm going to see, you know, I've got the, I had this grass-fed ghee butter stuff from PCC Natural Markets, and it was fine, but it tasted, it had, sometimes the flavor of that stuff kind of clashed a little bit with what I was cooking. <laughs> At least if you use that stuff, the ghee butter with egg, what you end up tasting is, is a bit more ghee butter than egg, it's just, you know, that's just the way it is. I don't know. So, and then it had Himalayan pink salt in it already. But, so, you know, I'm trying to use this Himalayan pink salt on its own. And hoping I, you know, feel even better and stuff. Getting all the trace minerals. And I, I am very concerned about things like trace minerals. I want to make sure I'm good. Because it's, you know, there's a problem with the soil in the United States, apparently. We've just, we just need to, you know, get more minerals in the soil. I don't know. Anyway, again, just to sum up this, this particular video, I just think it's it's something where I'm realizing more and more how many people are trying to save money when they, when they shop in, in the United States. We're trying to save money however we can, so we don't... We often... Oh, it's kind of weird, it's a weird train of thought here. I guess it's kind of like... We do okay... We're we're doing fine as long as we're getting a you know healthy diet and getting some exercise and enough sleep, we're gonna do okay. But once you have higher quality food of whatever kind of food you're talking about, it's hard to go back to the other stuff because you've had this nicer stuff. And I'm not always talking about what kind of food I'm talking. I'm talking about the quality of the food, and I'm especially talking about animal foods in this regard. Animal foods because plant foods. Mm, yeah, you can get some that are, you know, there's some quality things that get in there sometimes, you know, sure, but there's such a huge, vast difference between really high quality grass fed meat and this crappy meat that you so it just passes for me at Winco and stuff, and especially expired meat. I have no respect for butchers that try to hide browned browning beef they try to put that <clears throat> this red stuff on it to make it look I just it makes me so mad you know ugh. it's just there's such a huge difference in meat quality in some places and so this is something you know and meat's so expensive it's just uh, meat you know I was so so I guess that at some point I just want to say I throw my hands up and I just say why why do I need to put myself through this agony? Why not just get a little bit of fish, a little bit of egg, a little bit of chicken, find some good turkey, maybe the turkey, and you just skip the meat. You know, and if you're, like, you're a huge carnivore, okay. You know, but I have find increasingly, I'm like, it's the same thing with oranges. I have to, the oranges that you, you know, sometimes you just get the bag. I got a bag of oranges at Trader Joe's. Sometimes you just go with it and you say, oh, I trust it, it'll be okay. It looks pretty good. But ideally, I want to look at the orange, smell the orange, feel it. And like, oh, this is a good orange. We get PCC Natural Markets. But man, with beef, it's the same thing. And when Trader Joe's has those, puts the, their things of beef in those packages where there's a bunch of air around it. See, here's another thing too. It's There's a problem with, it's probably how Trader Joe's seals their beef, their meat. You need to wrap that freaking stuff. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's how you, how you, how you, what, what, how fresh, how fresh is the meat? How do you wrap it? Um, what do you do? As far as the packaging, inside the packaging, or inside the actual thing, what do you do to prevent, to, to have meat stay as fresh as possible? And, and are you doing anything to affect the flavor? And, and, and how long you, you know, <laughs> all of this stuff, right? What, what temperature to keep the meat at? <sighs> how, you know, how, how high quality is the meat to begin with? There's all that space in Trader Joe's meat things. 
There's a lot of space. I know I have to wrap this up here in a second. I wonder if that's part of the problem with their meat. Anyway, I, I know I got it for a bit here. Uh, thanks for you guys listening to the entire video. I want food to be cheaper for everyone again. and um, But these are some things to keep in mind. So you go to most, like all of these stores, Trader Joe's, QFC, there's a lot of snacky stuff, a lot of sugary stuff that's cheaper. That's great. It's great to go to the, the more expensive stores to get really high quality produce and meat and seafood. But maybe some of that stuff you don't really need much of anyway. You, you know, but if, you know, it's always good to stick to the basics so then get again some nicer stuff. But you want to. So if you guys have any thoughts or questions, just leave them below. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.